This year, it was exactly 200 years ago that King Carl XIII ordered the establishment of an academy for the training of army surgeons. Today, Karolinska Institute is a world-leading medical university. Our mission is to help improve human health through education and research. Colleagues, students, friends. This year, Karolinska Institute is celebrating its 200th year anniversary. It was on December 13, 1810, that the Swedish king, Karl XIII, signed the documents which authorized the establishment of an academy for army surgeons. There was a great need for army surgeons at that time. Sweden had been at war with Russia, Denmark and France. The soldiers died at the battlefield and at the field hospitals from infectious diseases and other diseases. But very rapidly thereafter, Karolinska Institute has developed from a school for army surgeons to a full medical university. And for the first time, in Sweden, we could integrate healthcare research and theoretical medicine. And this has really been the ground for developing the modern healthcare we have today in Sweden. Today, Karolinska Institute is a leading university in medical education and research. Thanks to our collaborations and networks, we have a presence all around the world. The goal with our research is to benefit society globally and locally and to help improve the health of mankind. Over these 200 years, many of Karolinska Institute's co-workers have earned a world reputation. I'm thinking of Jons Jakob Berzelius, one of our first professors, the father of Swedish chemistry and the discoverer of one of the most important elements of our age, silicon. But I'm also thinking of our five Nobel laureates and our many other scientists who have contributed groundbreaking knowledge 
to the improvement of human health. Currently, in 2010, several of our researchers can be found at the absolute cutting edge of many important research areas. We must not forget that our achievements are the results of teamwork. Everyone has contributed, be it in research, education or administration. And I would like to thank all of you for the fantastic work which is done to maintain Karolinska Institute as a leading medical university. The health problems the world is facing today pose an immense challenge. However, new medical discoveries give us hope for a brighter future. It is the objective of Karolinska Institute to lead society towards this future by improving people's health and quality of life. With this in mind, we celebrate Karolinska Institute's 200th year anniversary. My vision is that the Karolinska continues to stand for and focus on its